Bah, 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 bah. Good evening. Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the League of Extraordinary Casuals, number 33. I am your host, Darth Asylum. We made it to another Friday. We're starting a little bit later tonight, but again, uh, kids, what can I say? <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. Hopefully everybody had a great week. Everybody had a safe week. Did something fun. And if it wasn't fun, then you know what? We made it through and we're here. So let's go ahead and have some fun. So if you didn't know, the Bone Chill event is going on in Dead by Daylight right now. So we are going to check out the trailer for that. Yes, that is the Bone Chill event going from December 9th to December 23rd. Uh, if you noticed, uh, there was Frosty Eyes for both the new Killer Trickster and I keep calling her the Crow, the artist. So you can get Frosty Eyes for her. Three new sweaters, so that's going to actually five new sweaters. So we'll, we'll get to that in a second. So <clears throat> latest news is uh, Amazon Prime, if you're a member. You get two new artist outfits and you redeem it with the prime gaming. And those are the first outfits. And then there's more to come after that content available from December 10th through January 10th with prime gaming, more drops to be revealed soon. So basically they're they dead by daylight joined prime gaming. So every month they're going to be giving out some kind of cosmetic or item or something overall, Jill and Leon got ugly sweaters, but you cannot get these from the, uh, bone chill event. You can only get these through Oryx cells, so in the shop, but they do have them because they are licensed characters. They are not originals. What is it? And then don't forget the advent calendar, the season of giving. So every day you log in, you can get fragments, blood points, or even uh, iridescent shards. And we just saw the bone chill event. So unlockable rewards. The Wraith has spine candy. That was his weapon. The Hag, same thing. Her talon was the garland. Yin Jin Lee, uh, sweater. Michaela has a sweater. Jonah has a sweater. And then the artist and the trickster has frosty eyes. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then three charms. Gift Hatch, Christmas Inferno, and Cocoa Dip. Christmas Inferno is a, sur or a killer killer charm and then the gift hatch and the cocoa dip are both for survivors so it tripped me up because i thought all three of them were for both you know sets survivor and killer but it's one killer two survivors event ends december 23rd 11 a.m eastern time and we are pacific here so for us it's 8 a.m however i was able to sneak on and actually get all 10 of these rewards already within the last well, let's see it's the 10th so within a day I was able to basically jump in to matches real quick and do it. So luckily enough, um, at first it was a little misleading only because it says, 
you'll see it in the match in a second, but you know, you're supposed to uh, jump into these snowmen. And it, it, at first it said like, you have to escape the trial as a snowman and the snow snowman move really slow and things like that. And the killer can hit you. But the cool thing is it's dead by daylight added it to where if you're a survivor main like me, then all you need to do is basically jump into snowman, have a killer hit you while you're in it and you don't have to escape it. And you kind of get like these white snowflakes around you and, even if you get sacrificed in the trial, you still unlock something. So you don't have to escape with it. But I actually have some videos of every single one that I'm actually going to post. And the funny thing was, is I actually, in a couple of them were able to escape with as a snowman because the killers were really nice. So let's jump right in. And we're back on steam also, but this by daylight is available on the Epic game store. It is the 10th. So it was only available up until the 9th, I believe. So now you'll have to purchase it through that. So uh, we have to commune with four red glyphs. We are on the last level of Tome 9. So there's the rift closes in 25 days, level 4. And we're all, actually almost there. So we just have to commune with some red glyphs, do a few more, and we can unlock it and then work on extra stuff. <laughs> so actually not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. So, what else? Got Jonah to level 50, so he's good to go. Uh, got Ash all his perks. So Ash is completely good, so now I'm just dumping points into Bill to get him unlocked. I uh, made some pretty good progress so far to unlock things for him. Out of seven pages and one, two, basically three levels. Uh, we're getting there. So let's jump right in. Meeting with six red glyphs. I believe all my rituals are killer rituals, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? Oh, there was a blood point. Uh, let's see. Actually, we'll go over the Steam charts like we always do and see how the game's been doing since uh, the Epic Game Store did release Dead by Daylight for free. So I believe there was an influx of new players, which was cool. Uh, let's see. So, uh, 24 hour peak was 70,837. Typically it was usually around 50,000, I believe. So that's actually not too bad. Playing 29 minutes ago was 46,000. Still the all time peak is the 105. Two last 30 days, the average amount of players was about 44,000. The peak players was 73,945. So, still doing pretty good. Let's see. And then Dead by Daylight also on their Instagram unleashed another gift redeem code for blood points for another 100,000. So, if um, you didn't see it, the first code was. So, if you get a feature, redeem code. The first one was ho 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 for a hundred thousand. We already claimed it, and then the next one was seasons bleedings, and we already claimed it. So both of those are each going to get you a hundred thousand blood points. Only good for a limited time. So definitely make a on it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, before we forget, we have a visitor that will be joining us in the uh, holiday season here. We have Dwelf. Dwelf on the Shelf is going to be joining our games. So, say hi to Dwelf. <laughs> and don't forget hashtag Amando with a Plando. That is us. Uh, hashtag Into the Fog. Shirt my survivor, please. And I do list my Steam ID up here which is D5D6 on Steam. So I am the only Darth Asylum, same thing on the Epic Store. So if you feel like playing a game, definitely throw me a friend request and we could jump in. It doesn't have to be on stream. It could be off stream. And I do not have a Discord. So the only time I talk is through the mic. And that's about it. 
What else is there? We talked about Prime Gaming, joining Amazon Prime. So benefits are coming to that if you join. Uh, let's see. We watched the video for well, the Bone Chill event. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, oh, we went over the seasons of bleeding for the new code. Uh, around the campfire, there's a holiday special Thursday, December 16th at 1 p.m. Eastern. So that would be, what, 10 Pacific a.m. So I have to tune into that and check it out if you have the time on Twitch TV slash Dead by Daylight. And we went over all the sweaters. But we didn't show them. So... All these guys got their sweaters, so you get Jen. Got her sweater. This is through the, the bone chill event. You get this one. Jill's sweater you have to get on the store because you have to buy this with uh Oryx cells. Same thing with Leon. You have to buy that one too. Michaela, you can get through the shop. Or no, through the event. Sorry. The Bone Chill event. And Jonah, the new survivor, gets his own. So these three. So Jonah, Michaela, and Yun Jin all come through the event. You have to buy these two to get them all. And those are only for original characters, except for Jill and Leon get sweaters. And Bill. Everybody else, like... Actually, Steve and Nancy got sweaters, too. Didn't they? Didn't Steve and Nancy get a sweater? No, they didn't. Wait. Yeah, they did. She got a sweater. He got a sweater. Yeah, they got sweaters, too. But I think it was only... Who was it? Tap. Tap. No, Tap got a sweater. Get a sweater. Uh, Quentin didn't get one. He never got a sweater. And Lori never got a sweater. So Quentin and Lori are the only two characters out of the entire game that didn't get. Survivor sweaters. And then these are the new glyphs for Survivor. Cocoa Dip. Uh, from the Bone Chill event charm. It, I guess we're going. What now? What now? I'm gonna play as Bill. Put him some screen time. But yeah, it was actually pretty, uh, pretty fun over the last 24 hours jumping into these matches because you know they did it up with lights over the the generators and all around the maps. But the snowmen have been pretty funny actually. <laughs> We had a, a funny match earlier. Like I said, I'll post it with uh, with a Myers that uh, you know we kind of took a picture with each other. So that'll probably be the uh, the thumbnail. Anybody tuning in, this is the League of Extraordinary Casuals, our 33rd stream. We're a Survivor main playing Dead by Daylight. If you're a bot, thank you for your algorithm to uh, sign up for us. If you're just a random person, thank you again for taking time out of your day to check us out. 
They're called League of Extraordinary Casuals for a reason. We are casual gamers taking time out of our week, even if it was busy, to not be able to play any video games, to make time to play video games, and that's why we're here. To play some games. At least for a little bit, and give ourselves a nice stress-free stress -free therapeutic environment. That's why we take playing with a grain of salt. map or for the Irie of Crows because that's actually been coming up quite a bit but it also just released so that would make sense that they that they upped it a bit more. Oh, oh Ace, what happened? Chasing after Bill. Oh, oh. Why is it chasing after Mr. Bill? So remember, we have dead hard because I could have gotten out of that. Really to find the red blip somewhere. So he just smashed the snowman over there and they respawn they respawn if, if the killer smashes them but if you jump into one and you smash it they don't respawn and there's only six per map. Six of these guys. Hopefully, we can find them. There we go. Save somebody. Oh, 
And we are casual for a reason, because we try not to be any toxic to the killer, and we try not to be toxic to the survivor's teammates, because we are random. Why? However, we did get our red clip, so that was good. Remember, we have dead. Oh, he's going to suck a strip by. Validation. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Almost got it. the spirit of the hall. It's off. At least we remembered we had dead bar.
<laughs> he literally watched me and him watch them take a fucking leap. That was definitely a GG will play. So he didn't know where we were. <laughs> no? Good game. Good game. <laughs> That's still pretty funny. <laughs> he literally picked up my med kit and ran. That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Remember the steam charts? <laughs> Anybody tuning in, welcome to the channel. We're the League of Extraordinary Casuals. I am the host, Darth Asylum. I do post all these on YouTube under Darth Asylum, and we do have our Twitter going. It's Darth Asylum, or at Darth Asylum. Hashtag Amando with a plan, though. So like, follow, subscribe if you would like to. You're not obligated to. No one has to do anything they don't want to. That's why we're casual. We're just here to play some games and have some fun. Oh. We were going over the uh, the sweaters. So yeah, the Yunjin, Jill, Leon, Michaela, and Joe. So ultimately, that's what it is: is you you go through and jump into those. Like you basically just saw in that last match. Like I jumped into a that's snowman. Right. You can move around, that's and me, you know, baby. but they're really, really slow. So you jump into a snowman, and then the killer has to hit you. You can't destroy the snowman because you have to get like those white, like glow flakes around you, kind of like the, the other you know Dead by Daylight challenges and things like when they have the events and you like kick the gnome or you know things like that where you have a glow around you. Basically, you need to get that. In order to get that, you have to have the killer actually hit you. And some killers use powers that actually negate that, so you got to be careful. So like. Uh, what's, what's an example? Like the doctor, for instance, if the doctor uses like his shock on you, like I was in a snowman trying to get the doctor to hit me and he wouldn't, he wouldn't just hit cause they have to hit you with their main weapon, not like their special power. So the doctor just kept shocking me out of the, uh, the snowman and I wouldn't get it until I jumped into it and pretended to be like a still snowman. And he ran by me and just thwacked me for the sheer fun of it. And I happened to be inside of it. <laughs> so yeah, so there's that, but um, there was that. Uh, the twins, I think Victor, like if Victor jumps on you, that doesn't count because she has to, uh, she has to be the one to hit you. And then, uh, who else did we encounter so far? 
the trickster, I think, with his blades might not count. And same thing with, like, the Huntress and Hatchets. I think if she hits you with a hatchet, I don't think that counts. It has to be their main hand weapon, you know, to thwack you, and then that, that gives you the ability. Or... Like the system said, you can play. If you play killer, you just hit a snowman and you get the glow, and you can get the the, the event items through that. But um, if you're if you're a survivor, you either got to have the survivor during the game hit you and get the glow, and if you get sacrificed, you know you don't. You get to keep it, then it unlocks like the charm or the sweater, or the frosty eyes or the weapons. That one of those ten items that we went over. And this is like one of the charms. It's Coco Dip. A marshmallow figure floating happily in Coco, ignorant to his impending demise. <laughs> and then this one, Gift Hatch. It's all yours whether you want to escape with it or kick it shut. So this is a Killer and Survivor charm. Oh, so that is a Killer and Survivor charm then. So I guess they gave one of each then. That's the one is yeah survivor All so right. killer has a um, a fireplace charm so the killer got one the survivor got one and both of them got the hatch one so oh that's cool fun to get everything. I don't think we got that. <laughs> Oops. That's yeah, okay. Well, I guess the point is we're always playing for fun, but in this case, we're actually you know, or over the last 24 hours, we were playing, playing with a purpose, trying to get a killer to hit us with their weapon. Dress as a snowman. But yeah, there were some funny, funny encounters that we ran across, like playing a snowman, or like if somebody else is jumping in to a snowman, and then you all, like I think during that Myers match, like I ran by and there were three snowmen just creeping by, chasing after the Myers, <laughs> you know, <laughs> pretty funny, and things like that, so... You know, people are people are having a good time with it, and obviously there's other people that, you know, really don't, I guess, care for the event, so it's more like just a annoyance, because, see, part of that also comes with the idea that, you know, people that still need the charm are going to immediately go jump into snowmen, and, you know, by doing that, they're not playing the game, meaning they're not doing the objective, which is to do gen, so definitely had, within the, I would say within the the first 24 hours, a lot of matches like that, too, because I was one of them, and other players were the same thing, where they were all just jumping in to Snowman and calling it good. And then, like, no matches, or, you know, no, uh, no generators would get done, and you'd wind up, you know, dead after, like, four gens still up. <laughs> but again, it, this is all in good fun. This is all supposed to just make, you know, a funner experience for everybody. Snowman can also count as uh, uh, a protection. Let's see if we can creep our way over there.
Oops. Oh, I think we need to get going. <laughs> Before everybody dies. One of the uh, prime skins. Screaming <laughs> <laughs> on a Friday, having fun, playing matches, getting killed hey. in the snowman. It's actually been pretty fun. Playing a healing game. At least try to want to try to keep our fire cracker. has been good to it. Oh, and we found our thing. Forgot about that. get one gen done, we can, uh, we win. I think that's the Thanatophobia, which slows generator progress. Well, repair progress, I think, so. So I believe, like, the achievement, say, for this one, the gen theater would be, is to finish this gen because it's the center generator and escape.
good. See? We got one gen done. Which means we win. Jeez, these efforts. That's why she was too jacking everybody. She was eating everybody. I want to eat everybody. see us. But she can't kill us. That was nice of her. That was very nice. Oh, we got our near party. 
We did get to keep it. Laughing my ass off the nickel. What did she have? Paint resonance, tinker, because she knew when generators were over. That's what I'm talking about. So their courage fades in the face of inevitable mortality for each injured, dying, or survivor. All survivors receive a penalty of 5% to a maximum of 20% to repair sabotage and totem plants. So that was the slowdown, yeah. Thanatophobia, nurse bird. Yeah, that's definitely, uh. Yeah, and she was kicking everybody. <laughs> that was a good match. That was fun. That was very fun. We are going to take a brief intermission, so we will be right back.
<laughs> okay, we're back. Ready up. Ready up and have some fun. That's what we're here for. Anybody tuning in? This is the League of Extraordinary Casuals, number 33. We stream Dead by Daylight. We are a survivor main that does play killer here or there. Pretty much our rules are be casual, be non-toxic, and have some fun. Don't take life too seriously. Or the game, for that matter. We're here to have fun. Not uh, judge or be toxic, so... Let's see. So we had Michaela, and then we showed off Jonah. The charms. Hopefully they'll they'll give out like a um, prime gaming uh, charm too, because they give out random stuff. Like they're definitely not giving out Oryx cells probably, but maybe they'll do like iridescent shards or blood points or something. And we've actually oh, and the thirteenth is coming up. With rank reset. When I say rank, it's grade. Your grade reset, which is. Be this coming Monday. So, yeah, that's Monday, and we're officially in Saturday now, so still got a couple more days for that to happen. But it's usually like midnight, midnight the day of, so in my case, it'll be Sunday night at like 9 p.m. is when it happens, because they're on East, East Coast time, I'm on Pacific streaming Friday nights, usually from 10 p.m. to 12 midnight, but we started at 11 p.m. tonight, so that's okay. Things happen. That's why we stream Friday nights, because life sometimes, I wouldn't necessarily say gets in the way, but it can prevent you from taking yourself to do things you like, and what I like to do is play video games and... One of those games is Dead by Daylight, and sometimes you just can't make the time, unfortunately, but that's why we dedicated time, I should say, to uh, give ourselves a little stress-free therapy uh, gaming, and that's what I use this time for, is to de-stress, enjoy, have some fun, and play some matches. Whether we win or lose, guess what? We still get points out of it, so I'm okay with that. But we've been actually doing pretty good. I mean, Jonah just came out, and we finally got him up to 50. Spent some points on him. Got him basically good to go. Ash, I spent the points on him to unlock all three of his perks, rank three. So Ash is completely, completely done. So that brings uh, the count up now? to... Okay. 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 95, 100, 1. So 101. So it's 101 perks. Though, so, Ash is the only one that I have, because I'm a big Ash fan, that is level 50, prestige 3, and also has all the perks so he is ultimately my main i guess you could call him and we're currently working on bill we're able to get bill up to uh same thing level 50 prestige 3 so pretty much anytime we're uh dumping points into anybody or anything we're uh we're putting all it right. into bill let's play Jill. Jill doesn't have dead right, does she? She needs the new charm.
And we do play on PS4 controller. Because we are a PlayStation fan. We have not upgraded to the PS5 or, well, the PS4 for that matter either. But uh, we do like the controller configuration. So the one thing I would request of Dead by Daylight is allow something other than the Xbox button prompts for somebody who's playing on PC but using a PS4 controller. Steam does allow it. That's why I'm playing through Steam. And even Epic Games does it to an extent if you play Epic through Steam, which is kind of weird, but it works. And you can still use the controller, but the uh, the actual button prompts are still for Xbox. So if behavior could work it into their uh, development to add PlayStation button prompts for PC, that would be awesome. I mean, they're all the same anyway, and it's just a matter of, you know, muscle memory, I guess, when it comes to, you know, what you're pressing and what you're doing. Because, you know, triggers are triggers, buttons are buttons in that kind of sense, but it would still be nice actually to um actually have something because sometimes you get i've hit something that i shouldn't have and then did something i shouldn't know so <laughs> uh where are we we're locked in a room so don't forget we gotta find a red glyph to oh that's a bing bong boy Already on somebody. See if we can run around and find that little red glyph. Chasing after chill. I go chasing after her.
Ah, poor chain. He has Insidious too. He have to if he's invincible. us to die. They left us to die. But you know what? We still say GG well played. Good game. GG, well played. F you. People are fun. People are fun. We probably need to spend some points. Eh, not playing any things. Eh, we'll, we'll do one more and then. They didn't send us a friend request. That 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 hurts our feelings that they didn't have a great time. Because I don't know them. <laughs> That's the great thing about anonymity. Is well. I'm sorry you feel that strongly against a video game.
And we'll queue up and have fun on the next one. Anybody checking out the stream, we are the League of Extraordinary Casuals. Definitely thank you for taking the time out of your day to see what we're all about. We are a non-toxic, safe space, therapeutic gaming space <laughs> channel. That is, playing some Dead by Daylight, some uh, Survivor, having some fun during the uh, Bone Chill event. Getting our sweaters, having some fun. Hopefully you've had a great week. Hopefully you're staying safe out there and just having some fun playing some Dead by Daylight. And if you don't play Dead by Daylight, then thanks for checking out my channel and thanks for checking out the game. It, it's actually very fun. And, you know, a lot of games get different flack and things like that too, but... You know, it's all in the eye of the beholder, and honestly, I have a lot of fun playing it because, you know, I, I really don't find a lot of replayability with a lot of the things I've played, and honestly, it's like Dead by Daylight is just fun to me, and, you know, I actually like coming back to the challenge of, you know, random matches and seeing if I could try to do good and try to escape and, you know, help my team or not. Like, you saw in that last match, we, uh... <laughs> Apparently that Jane didn't take too kindly to her just straight dying, and we kept saving her, but uh, unfortunately the Wraith decided to uh, always target her, and unfortunately she died pretty quick, but you know what? Those are the breaks. I mean, the, the game is set up as a 1v4, and the killer is going to play however they're going to play, and unfortunately if that's what they choose to do... Uh, let me put it to you this way. There's no right or wrong way to play, in my opinion, because... As a survivor, your goal is to escape, and in order to do that, you either got to do five generators, because there's seven that spawn, or everyone dies, you find the hatch, and you escape through there, you know, so that's that's what you're supposed to do, and as a killer, you know, you're supposed to, you're supposed to sacrifice survivors to the entity, meaning, you know, you do that however you need to do it, I mean... Over the last week or so, I noticed, you know, there was uh, a lot of Leatherfaces, you know, that were playing the uh, Insidious Basement builds, and, you know, that that can get extremely annoying. I get it, you know, but at the same time, that was the playstyle that they chose to do with that character, and, you know, people can argue that all they want to, saying that's cheating or, you know, that's not fair, but, you know, at the end of the day... The point of the killer is to try to sacrifice as many survivors as they can, so if that's how they choose to do it, then that's just how they choose to do it. It's just unfortunate on the end of the person who happens to be the one that uh, is the one he, ch he chooses up front at first, you know? So if you go to the basement and he's standing there and kills you and stands there some more and watches you, or even the whole face camping thing, you know? I, I'm not going off on a tangent by any means on any of this. It's just my personal... A casual opinion is that you know ultimately it's if it's in the game it's not cheating obviously there's hackers and things like that but in the end you play the game and you roll the dice and see what happens because not every game's going to be an escape and for the killer not every game's going to be you sacrificing all four survivors some way or another so there's a little too much uh I guess uh, anxiety would be the word when it comes to what people think they should, how how they should perceive the killer to play versus how the killer does play or even vice versa. You know, killers against survivors. There's like this whole split divided team. Where if you're a killer main, then you think all the survivors are toxic because, you know, they're teabagging you, which I, I get. That's why I don't do that. You know, I don't sit there and teabag the killer or you know like i leave them the treasures if they're nice or you know that kind of thing or like this previous match that we had not this one but the one before that where i jumped in the snowman and you know was playing around with the survivor or the killer you know and it's like 
they they like that you know people if, if people are good sports then they get it you know so it's it's fine but in the end it's it's still just the game and believe me there's no amount of of stress that you put on somebody just by doing just by playing this so it's okay <laughs> we don't have to be upset we're just here to enjoy I think one of the greatest quotes that I've ever heard was uh, from a now defunct show on Netflix. But the quote was, is, you know, whatever, whatever happened, whatever happened to trying to make it through the fucking day. <laughs> That's it. It's as simple as that. You know, whatever, whatever happened to just trying to fucking make it through the day. But yes, anybody tuning into the stream, we do stream Friday nights from usually 10 p.m. to 12 midnight. We started a little bit later tonight, around 11, because we had some uh, little babies I needed to take care of. Yes, I am a dad of twins, a boy and a girl. Uh, family's healthy, babies are healthy, mom is healthy. Doing great, a little tired, but that comes with uh, paying your dues when it comes to little ones. But again, we uh, we do have the we're we're blessed or I am blessed with the uh, chance to still be able to uh, play some games, get some, you know, personal time and, uh, you know, de-stress. And that's why I call this the uh, the Friday night uh, therapeutic gaming space and session, <laughs> because it's not only just a celebration of, hey, you know what? We made it Friday to Friday through good, or bad, but um also, we're we're not necessarily being selfish, but we're giving ourselves the uh, time we need to just kind of de-stress and uh, de-stress and just enjoy some uh, video games because that's part of our repertoire too. Is that we like um, we like playing games? Unfortunately, we can't do it. You know. We can't do it uh, eight hours a day for we can't do it for eight hours a day seven days a week but um, we still can at least play and have some fun that's why we uh, chose to stream on a particular night and we chose Friday night because it was the end of the Monday through Friday work week and not only that but uh, we chose later because it still gives us the time to do what we have to do throughout the day but also you know be a night owl and like I said uh, get some game time in and have some fun and to be honest to anybody that's not necessarily new to streaming, but, you know, just uh, started out like myself, you know, it takes it takes a lot of courage to uh, to throw yourself out there, you know, to the world, and you know, whether people like your content or not, you know, that's not why I'm doing it, but I'm doing it more for other personal reasons, but it's all good. You know, there's nothing no ill intention, nothing bad. That's why I said, you know, we we keep it casual because that's that's the whole point. That's why I want this stream to be is just chill and enjoy being calm and cool and collected. Let's have some fun. So a red glyph. We need to find a red glyph. Hopefully. <sighs> Yeah. Oh, they did get her. They're on Claudette. And guess what? We did a gens. So, we win. The killer can't take that we must.
that one. We don't want to waste too much for the tough job to do. Playing on here and a leather face drop through there and looked like the scariest thing ever. I think all three of us were down here for that. <laughs> and also, that's why I left my, uh, my Steam ID, D5D6, on Steam and uh, it starts Asylum on the Epic Game Store if you want to throw a friend request if you ever do get a chance to play. That's how I got into it, was just watching people play, got into the game, and, and realized, you know what, this is looks kind of cool and I'm an old school horror buff too and love the idea that Leatherface was in it and so was Freddy and so was uh, Ghostface and you know there's just a lot of uh, possibilities and I'm a Myers main too when it comes to killer Done a little bit. We'll uh, we'll heal ourselves. My build usually consists of I do have self care. I don't use it immediately, and that's a little trick I've actually learned from again watching other people and um, some of the you know more experienced players. They they use self care as a last ditch effort when it comes to um, helping the team. So basically saying that it's it's a perk that you use only when you have time to use it. Meaning, if you're in a situation where you can afford to time, then do it. Uh, like in our case, we have four gens down. He's only two people. So we can actually take the, uh, the extra bit of time to... Uh, And we got our glyph. Now we gotta figure out. There we go. Hello. Of course, there also is a, a new influx of players because of, you know, Epic Games having Dead by Dead for free. There's a lot of new killers out there, too, so that's a little bit of a disadvantage, but you know what? Everybody starts from somewhere, and when I say that, it's, it's almost like, I think of games like Call of Duty and, you know, Battlefront and Battlefield and things like that, where, you know, of course you're going to destroy you know, with a seasoned veteran going up against somebody who just picked up the game yesterday and started playing. You know, I mean, seriously, it's like, you're going to get destroyed. There's no two ways about it. So. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, there's no, there's no need to, no need to drag it out. You know, we could be brats and, you know, <laughs> say GG, easy, you know, baby killer, ha ha ha, but, you know, I was, when I started playing Killer 2 and I'm low rank killer, it's like, oh my god, I mean, I would get destroyed with new people, and they still match you up with good people too, and you still get destroyed, so not every match is going to be the same thing. She was going to sacrifice herself. Oh, that was a nice raid. She wants to... She wants to sacrifice herself for him. Aww. So, GG, well played. Bronze one, Mari Chan, Bitter Murmur, Iron Grass, Unrelenting, Deer Stalker. So all regular Bloodwed perks, a green and some purples. GG, well played you. I was lagging everywhere trying to chase and had enough. GG, guys. Thanks. Good luck next games. Have fun. You too. See? People can be civil. That's that's the whole point. People can be civil. And, you know, I, I guess my point being when I kind of trailed off there because I was trying to play and talk too was, you know, you take any game, you know, that has a multiplayer aspect to it, and that can be, you know, uh, Call of Duty, Battlefield, Battlefront, you know, anything like that, and ultimately, um, have any game that you have some kind of multiplayer aspect to it, where you're actually playing against real people, you're always going to have, you know, your, your seasoned veterans and the people that, you know, I wouldn't say tryhards, but, you know, people that are good at the game. And having said that, uh, let's see. And having said that, you know, you're, you're going to get matched up with those people and you're going to get destroyed. I mean, there's no two ways about it, so... It's, it's just a fact of the matter, you know, with matchmaking, anything, and, you know, for instance, um, I was more of a battlefield person than a Call of Duty, and, uh, I said duty, um, so, it was fun, it was fun to, uh, you know, actually load up, um, uh, say Warzone, because I, I've never owned a Call of Duty game before, ever, this whole entire time. And so Warzone was free, so I loaded it up to play it, and next thing you know, you know, I'm just getting my ass just handed to me, destroyed, and, you know, these are people that, you know, play the game more than I do, and, you know, rather than get upset or think, oh my god, you know, it sucks, and, you know, I, I just want to you know, kill myself. <laughs> it was more like, okay, well, you know, I got to get used to, you know, if I want to start playing this, you know, off and on, maybe just to have like a battle kind of game, you know, where you have guns and you have to go against people and you know, that's fine. Let's see. He had dead heart. He still needs some form of healing.
yeah, my personal main build I like to run is Borrow Time for saves, Iron Will for chases, and Self Care for last, and usually Decisive Strike in case the killer camps me. I have some some form of retaliation to try to get away, but I have been using Dead Heart in its place where I can, and it, for for challenges that you know you need to extend the chase and whatnot. I mean, this actually has come in handy, so I do see the uh, the value of having it. Too. I just don't personally usually play it because I honestly forget I have it most of the time anyway. Uh, let's see. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, you know, it's it was great watching, you know, some streamers, you know, play this and kind of start getting into it, get the idea of it. And, you know, the one thing I can kind of say that I miss is like the, um, the thrill of playing this brand new, meaning like when I say thrill, it's like when you're kind of timid and you're shy and you haven't built up that confidence yet, you know, it, it's... There's definitely a, a learning curve, you know, that, that comes with playing over time, just like any game, you know, again, you know, reaction times and, you know, how to respond to a certain situation and why am I always the one that the killer just happens to zero in on this, the start of the match and get killed, <laughs> that whole thing. But again, you it, it, it teaches you humility and it also teaches me patience because the game that, you know, I learned the most patience on was Dead by Daylight Mobile because as soon as that came out and that ushered in so many new people it um it created a whole new world for people which is great you know because the game gets more you know influx of players however like every match i would play on that it was they they would camp me so it's like if i was the first one that they found they chase me i they down me and then and you're also playing on a phone so that's definitely a little difficult and it was funny because then all of a sudden it's like they would hook me and just stand right in front. And then with the other players obviously being new too, you know, they were possibly a little shy or whatnot to come and try to save. So they'd be creeping around the edges of the map or, you know, just, just being, just hiding from the killer basically and not doing the objectives. And it was frustrating. I'll, I'll definitely admit that. But after a while, it's like, I realized, you know, this, this is teaching me patience and an understanding that you know every match is going to be different even if it's camping because you're going in with a whole new set of factors that can you know obviously change the course of the match because you know if you take four seasoned survivors and throw them in with a new killer of course all of them are just going to destroy them and escape or vice versa you know you take a seasoned killer against you know a bunch of new players or you know one player that's good and a bunch of other players that are you know new i wouldn't say bad but new and yeah it, it could totally change the tide nobody gets a gen done and all of a sudden everyone's dead <laughs> and it's like okay but the point being is that what what dead by daylight mobile really taught me not only patient but regardless of the outcome of the match whether escape or not i still get points out of it i still get blood points i still get some kind of effort that's rewarded to me for taking the time to play that match so it's not all for naught you know yeah you know one match you may get two thousand points because that's all they did and then got camped and then you died and then they're just going after the next person and then you know i've also had those matches where you know they camp me but the other three survivors did generators until by the time i was dead or sacrificed, I should say. By the time I was sacrificed, it was, uh, they had already done pretty much all the gens, except for like one. So if the killer's, you know, camping you, then odds are, you know, at least one, maybe two people are gonna escape, which is great because then they got, they got out of it. So. Yeah, it's it's not that bad. It it really isn't, to be honest. And 
But again, that's that's up to interpretation. You know, everybody's different. Everybody has their own opinion, and you're entitled to it. It's just how you, you know, take that, reflect on it, and display it. And again, anybody tuning in, this is the League of Extraordinary Casuals. I am the host, Darth Asylum. We stream Friday nights, usually around 10 p.m. Tonight we got a little later start, but that's okay. We're still playing, having some fun. We are a non-toxic casual stream, just here to have some fun playing some Dead by Daylight. As Survivor. Trying to get some challenges done. Having fun during the Bone Chill event. Jumping into some snowmen and... You know, <laughs> again, I think that's the whole point that the the developers are trying to do with this this event is even though it can be match deterring everybody running around as snowmen, you know, I think it's going to kind of add some some holiday fun into the you know dark entity realm and give give people a way to you know laugh a little bit and just enjoy it and have a good time. But yeah, whether or not you're an algorithm that happened to find my channel or watching or you're a real person, thank you for taking the time out of your day to uh, check and see what we're all about. And again, if you pick up Dead by Daylight and you know happen to want to play, it doesn't have to be on stream. It can be off stream. I do find some time here and there to throw in a match or two throughout the week. So throw me a friend request and you know we jump into a match or two when, whenever we can. And yeah, it could be all good. Not required, obviously, and that's why I say an anonymity is great. Whether you just want to watch the stream, listen to me blather on to nobody, and that's pretty much it. That's that's fine too. I mean, that's the great thing about that's the great thing about um, anonymity is you can be whoever you want to be. Slugging people.
Thank you. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> what were we talking about, Facebook? I think we just found our our thumbnail. Oh, Claudette can go for it. Let's try to get another gem. As far as replayability goes, I mean, honestly, this this game has been really fun. It has, and like I was saying about the whole toxicity thing, I mean, that last match that we had, you know, where the person was just upset because they were playing the Jane, and you know, the killer tried to target them, and sure enough, they ended up getting killed with like five or six thousand points. You know, that's unfortunate, but. They were mad at me, apparently, because I kept saving them, and then the killer just happened to go after them, but I didn't borrow time to give them an extra chance to escape, so... Sorry. Why so serious? It hurts!
the exit. A snowman out there. There's a happy snowman. Oh well, thank you for that. 